Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back, or welcome to Destiny Reacts. So, in today's video, we will be talking about Liv's life. So, I don't know if y'all have seen the short that I did on Liv's life, but she said she is out here living her best life, and she actually posted on Instagram, did a live, and she was out drinking with her sister. <laughs> So here you can see her and her sister, and then it switches to her counting how many drinks she's had. Now, obviously, people are saying, like, how are you out here living your best life when you actually said your kids were kidnapped? And I'm wondering the same thing. So, as she was counting her drinks, she actually went live on her Instagram, and here that is right here. But to this day, Christian is still my crybaby. I love you too. Thank you. Christian is still my crybaby. Christian's just very emotional. And I think it's his sign, y'all. He's a Leo. You Leos be emotional as hell. I, you know what? It's not like it's a bad thing. It's not like a cancer. A cancer, he cry about everything. Leo. Y'all be getting mad, y'all getting mad, frustrated, you want to cry, like you all want to cry about everything. When cancers, we cry, we cry about everything too, so I can't really, I, I don't know, but I love my, I love my Leo. But it just depends on the baby though. I already told you. I already told you. My drink? No. You drink it. I told you I don't like rum. Did you already pay for my drink? Yeah. That was good. You have like a full drink? But you better drink it. She better not waste it, okay? I've been buying her drinks all night. She better not waste it. Period. I'm um, having a Leo boy this summer. Oh, they're blessing. Just taste it. No, I don't want that. Ew, it's good. It's all milky. I don't like milky drinks. It doesn't have extra milk in it. It looks creamy. Just taste it. It has to be. This is a little sip. There's like a lot of facts on there. I'm gonna get sick. You're not gonna get sick, you're gonna get drunk, right? Yeah, I gotta pee. Okay, you never ever got drinking, so enjoy yourself. So I guess living her best life is out here getting drunk. Her sister said she is trying to get drunk. And I guess that's living her best life. Do you even feel that open or no. I'm exactly where Never here. Where's the bathroom? Over there? I saw one over there. Yeah. Where are you sitting? So I'm about to bring both my drinks too. Okay. She was drinking a, a pina colada. I can't believe my phone doesn't have no damn charge on it. You know why? Because I was on FaceTime for a minute. FaceTime be eating up your battery. My baby daddy is a Leo, and we are having a Leo baby. I'm not going to get drinking here. They're like, what are you saying? No, it's okay. She says you better drink that damn drink. I ain't drinking this shit. I paid for it, but I'm gonna drink it. Okay. I'm definitely enjoying myself. I 
ਸਿੱਖ ਇਸਦਾ ਵੈਰ Liv also did another live on Instagram. I think it was the next day, but she kept trying to go live and she was playing music. Instagram does not like her playing music, so it kept kicking her off continuously, but she was persistent and kept coming back. 10 years ago. I'm looking at like when all these damn songs came out 11 years ago. Ooh, we. Mhm, mm that's about right. 12 years ago. crazy I don't care take me anywhere you're beautiful mm. I'm gonna pick a song that I have not heard in a long time mmm Damn, 12 years ago we didn't have we didn't even have kids. Girl, for real. But Brazil. That's crazy. So even though the kids are with Gerard, he does allow them to speak to Liv while they're in his care. And I'm getting this from Liv's Instagram post. She posted this. And as you can see, it says that Ryan was crying, but Liv is saying she's here for her. And why would you want to post this? This makes me wonder if Gerard is the one saying that he wants the kids to speak to Liv and he's okay with that. or is it a court order saying she has to speak to the kids every so often but either way Liv was the one that wasn't allowing the kids to speak to Gerard and the one time that she allowed them to she recorded it like there was something wrong with him do y'all remember that clip she posted on Instagram of Robin talking to Gerard on the phone and it seemed like Robin didn't want to say much and she wasn't into the conversation well from my opinion i think it was because Liv was there and she always wants to please her mom of course she does So she's going to say what she thinks her mom wants her to say and act how her mom wants her to act. Liv even said that the reason why Gerard gets really nice pictures of the kids and he's able to post them on his Instagram is because he hops the kids up on sugar, gives them a lot of candy or whatever, and that's why the kids are smiling in the pictures. Now, I don't know why she wants to discredit him all the time like he's not a good father because she never used to do that before. Liv is the same person who said that Gerard took her motherhood away and by getting the vasectomy now she can't have more kids with him. But then she wants to talk about how terrible of a father he is. It just doesn't make sense. If Liv wants to talk about Ryan crying while she's with Gerard, what about all the times she cried and asked for Gerard right in Liv's face? At the baby shower, she was asking for her dad, and even when they were looking at pictures on a live stream of everybody in the past, Ryan was asking for her dad at that moment as well. She cries when she's with Liv, and she cries when she's with her dad. It's sad that Liv continues to paint this narrative of Gerard that the kids are so unhappy with him because honestly, I think that's why Gerard puts so much more out there on Instagram now of the kids, live streams with the kids and him and Nisha. To me, that's why he does it because he wants people to see the real. I hope one day they can finally find a way to co-parent where nobody talks about either person and they can just work together for the kids. It's really sad, honestly. Y'all have to let me know what you think about all of this down below. Is Liv really living her best life? And is she living her best life because she doesn't have her other three children? Y'all have to let me know what you think about all of this. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.